Imagine waking up, you get your morning coffee, you check your clan boss results, you got two sacred. You think, you know what, ten times, never good, but I never learned my lesson, I'm going to open them. With one of them you get, <laughs> you get the old uh, Golden Reaper, which you don't need. You don't need. You just got one yesterday, as a matter of fact, from Ancient Shards. But the other one, oh my, the other one will transform your account forever. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Mad Capper. This is another video on Raid Shadow Legends. That is right, one champion out of a sacred shard has changed my account for the better. It has transformed my dungeon runs. That one champion is the 10 times champion, Theodore. So let's just get into it and take a look at my newest champion in a showcase, Theodore. All right, let's just start with the simplest. I have him in Dragon 25 solo. He can also be used with food, either or. And let's start the run here, jump right into it immediately. And I'll show you what he's all about. Now, the best thing about what I've been able to do with this account and with this champion is I have improved three of the four dungeons in this game for me. And I've done so, so with the exact same build with different champions in each dungeon. But the exact same build on Theodore every single time. And uh, it is absolutely amazing how good this champion is and how he can do this. The first one is the easiest in the dragon. A few things to keep in mind here. This uh, this dragon run solo is a little bit slower than his maximum potential. And that's because I'm using his slower speed so that it works for the other dungeons. Uh, I, I could have bumped his speeds up, but then I would have had to bump everyone else's speeds up in the other dungeons. I just didn't want to do that. Maybe I'll look at doing that down the road. So my best time with him was 49 seconds. His average run was about 51 seconds. And now you can see it's a little bit slower, but still just around that one minute mark, 104 to 110. I think it's about 114 with uh, with uh, with food. So single champion, easy one minute runs. Uh, you can you can queue up food with it and double dip and get uh, easy minute 15 runs and just burn all the energy you want on here and get a good nope. Well. I feel like I should be keeping all those anyway. So there you go. Dungeon number one, dragon. But th wait, there's more. And let's take a look at the second team here. I'm going to show Theodore's uh, stats and gear and everyone else's stats and gear at the end. But because uh, I just want to get through these. Spider's Den, everybody's favorite uh, money sink. And here is my team with uh, Crypt King Gaul, which I was using before. But only one Cold Heart, Theodore, Venus, and Renegade. Let's give this a shot. And, and this actually is now my new fastest team. It beat my previous fast team by five seconds, which I guess is a good thing, right? I think recording it actually slows it down a bit. So you can see pretty easy. It's all you're basically doing is getting the burns and the double and the double hit. Uh, and I think it just depends on exactly how many you get here. This was 17. My best was 16. I did have a run that was 21 seconds. So it looks like depending on uh, 3%, depends on the speed so if you hit everything 16 as you lose as something you know passively resists then you go you know a little bit slower but either way absolutely bang on best team ever the 17 and the 21 would have beat my fastest time previously but 16 seconds absolutely wonderful no changes to his gear just right in there and that's not all we've got one more so let's go into the third one which is the ice golem peak level 25 i do actually have an ice golem 24 team didn't mess with that team at all either to, to do this team so that's nice um i think this team could do 24 24 is spirits i don't want to try it I, I imagine it can because bad l is the only one bad l can pretty much solo 24 uh with the right gear i believe so at least getting to the boss so i don't think there's a big problem and one of the things here, so this is the team. I went to the Hell Hades uh, team optimizer at hellhades.com to come up with ideas for this team. 
but I had to modify them because I wanted to not change Theodore no matter what. And this is the one that kind of lost lost the lost the battle, right? So the other two team ones are optimized. I ta already talked about Dragon being a little bit slower. A spider was 16 seconds, perfect. This one, uh, I did lose probably 15 seconds off of runs, and it's just because I needed the uh, I needed the speeds. Uh, to be what they were and I needed Venus faster than Teodor although in the comp that I saw on the optimizer I actually had Teodor faster than Venus so that will account for some of the speed but it is still a sub one minute team give or take some RNG here so let's see I think when he gets back down here that should be all he wrote yeah see there's the RNG we didn't quite get enough damage and so it's gonna leak just slightly over a minute but uh, it's been 57 58 seconds there's the best time did that this morning 103 so five second buffer not bad the first couple times i did it was between these two times so it looks like that's the 102 i did 100 101 and then 58 seconds and now 103 so consistent team doesn't look like it can fail i doubt this team can fail simply because bad alcazar as long as you get him to the boss he can solo that boss so i'm not really worried about that being an issue uh i think seer dying is good because she just takes extra turns. You want the poison bombs and explosions to be the, the main purveyor of your of your team uh, damage on that boss. So there you go. Three teams, one champion, uh, and a lot. And, and there's a lot more. I know. I know you're going to see in the comments down below. And feel free to let me know how you're using your Theodore or how you've seen him used. Because there is a thousand and one uses for this guy. Which is why I'm so hyped to get him. Here is the Ted, or now let's show you. He is in regen and immunity gear, or sorry, immortal gear, and his stats are 99, 645 HP, 232 speed. That's what I was talking about uh, being slower. If I not, I could take him as high as 242 speed to still make everything work. And then I think that with food might make the dragon run faster. So if I took him up to 242, because then he gets 18 and 24 bonus speeds for the deaths and for the uh, the kills. 42, was that 52, 60, 70, 80? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that makes him fat, uh, triple up on the dragon. So we could do that. Not really worried about it. I don't have any speed glyphs right now, so I don't want to play around too much with it. If it, if it bro ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what I mean? Uh, now let's take a look at his masteries here. We'll bring them up. Uh, this is also, uh, you know, oops, God, I hate that. Can I edit that out? I'm not going to edit that out. Go to grab me. So there we go. Uh, War Master proc. Whether that's actually useful, I don't know. I don't know if maybe it's just better going down some of these others. But this is the way I went with it. And of course we went with this. Uh, 18 speed for for enemy each enemy killed and then uh, eight speed for each dead ally up to 24 so um, That's you're gonna get those extra ones if you bring in uh, On that dragon solo dragon if you bring in food uh, I found that the food actually slowed me down with this but that's because he's at 232 I think at 242. It's a different story, but uh, there is his builds and now let's take a look I'll jump quickly into the two teams uh, So you can at least see what I did for the rest of the team now, you don't need to see Dragon's Lair, obviously, because he's solo. But if we go into the 25 here and click, there's my Spider 25 team right there. You see Crypt King Grawl at 176. Uh, and he's starting with the Elemental Unity. And that's he's the slowest, but that's going to freeze all the Spiderlings. His accuracy, 293, 84k HP. I also put him in a bolster set, which just adds a little bit of uh, peace of mind for me, I guess. When I was testing it out, I wasn't sure how many hits Coldheart would have had to take. So the bolster set was a nice added bonus venus we're, we don't want that blind with factuation we want that burning passion and she's got to be faster than Theodore so she can get that burning passion on so now you have burning passion and now you are actually increasing it by one and then detonating it and that's going to give you those extra damages uh, and then you're going to have renegade she's the fastest at 247 and she is uh starting with lash out just so that she can rip through the teams, and then when it gets back to her, then she'll use Sacrificial Ritual to reset. Uh, it, would Kaimar be faster? I don't know. I have a Kaimar speed lead. I could start him with uh, with his A2 and then reset. I don't know if it would be any better. Maybe Coldheart would get an extra shot in. So I, I can give that a test uh, later. But uh, this is the team that works just fine. And then Coldheart, 197, no special speed. Uh, 273 accuracy. 
sorry, 293 actually, 273 crit damage. She's over crit capped on the damage. Her accuracy is there just to make sure she, she lands that turn meter manipulation. And we don't want her to use Art of Pain. It's uh, all good. So there is the team there. And then finally, let's take a look at this team here. This is the Ice Golem team. And I better actually do this. Ice Golem 25. Save. We'll go back in there now. So this is the Ice Golem team. And you can see Bad Alcazar. I'm using Malice. Uh, and then, well, I mean, I guess I could do it first there too, but it doesn't really matter. That's those extra poisons that in the original comp that I, this is based off of, uh, he wasn't using malice on all of them and it helped with the resets, but, uh, I just wanted a little bit more efficiency, efficiency without having to change my team up for the ice goal. Venus here. She's not, she starts with blind infa with infatuation, then burning passion. And then same thing on round two. And that's because he's slower. So he's going to start with savant savvy. And then actually I can do this. I mean, it doesn't, I don't think it really matters. He'll do that anyway. But what's going to happen is then you've got poisons. He's putting the poisons. Bad L's putting the poisons. She's putting the age pre-burn. And then on his second turn, he's activating them in both rounds and killing them. And then Seer is just there for, for the, the remaining damage, right? Bad L Kazar puts up two heals. Uh, Vina, I think Prince Kaimer has immunity. So there's it's a little bit of everything just for Seer to get that remaining damage and the two together just implode the the first two rounds and then this third round you see venus just don't use this we don't need it it's all about this uh trying to get around to the burning passion i don't want abyssal gaze used so it's all about getting seal of magic whenever it shows up and then again same with uh theodore we want him to open up with some poisons and then hit that explosion and then Seer, we want her to die <laughs> so that she doesn't trigger anything accidentally. And the more, the less people, the quicker they can get around for their turns. So that is the teams. That is the champion, Theodore the Savant. Where are you using them? What do you think of them? Let me know in the comments down below. But I hope you enjoyed this short little uh, showcase of my newest champion and my newest toy in the collection, uh, Theodore the Savant. So thank you very much. I appreciate you. Please be kind, be safe. And we'll see you in the next video.